with a hirto. A city of 13,000 people in eastern Hungary has been famous for its sour cherry soup and prosperous agriculture. However, in recent months, the city made into the headlines with a terrible inland water situation. Imre Aranyos, the commander of the local firefighter, says that he never witnessed such horrible problems in the city, and the people's anger hits them. The ground is like a sponge. It is 80-90% waterlogged. That is why we have all these problems. The commander adds that you can hardly find any cellars where there is no water. He adds that the other reason why we fail to is we're in a bad situation is because the city is surrounded by channels and ditches which carry the precipitation and clean sewage water of the region. In the Tisza River, north of the city is also flooded, the water in the channel is accumulated with Fayerto, and the town can be even at a greater danger. Currently, there are millions of cubic meters of water on the flat parts of the city, sandbags are still on the streets. Who knows what spring weather might bring? There are flooded sections in almost every street. The firefighters and disaster recovery teams needed to dismantle a bridge too to give space for the water coming through. Twelve pumps were working for more than a month to decrease the amount of water within the city limits. There is a place where they need to pound the water from the well in the courtyard because the water threatened to flood the house. Mr. Aranyos adds, if there will not be any substantial rain and the remaining inland waters will defreeze, they will be able to avert the problem. However, he adds that the situation is serious, it seems inevitable that some houses that have no grounds will collapse. The commander says that the citizens' anger hits them, many people did not understand the flow of works on the grounds. He adds that he sometimes loses his temper, it is really hard to treat this situation. The Kukuchka family was relocated from life-threatening conditions in their home at the beginning of February. The 40-year-old mother, Hoinaka, who raises her three children alone, says that she is jaded and does not see a way out. They have just renovated their house from a small heritage and the loan last autumn, and now it is all gone. I'm afraid. Afraid of that if I spend another two million forints on my home and another inland water of what comes, what will happen? I really don't know. She never thought the area where their home is is prone to inland waters. They could only take their most necessary belongings when they needed to leave. Hanalka has no fixed job. She struggles with a daily livelihood. After her husband hung himself up two years ago, her life is in a constant insecurity, and now this natural disaster ruined her only property, her house. She is even deprived from market gardening. She needs to buy all vegetables at the grocery. The city council tries to help them by providing the current apartment where they live now, but from April she needs to pay the rent. The family's overall monthly income stands around 500 euros, and she does not see any additional money coming in. Hoinaka's mother and her brother who lives in London try to relieve on their situation, although they also struggle with their daily livelihood. She says that she cannot expect everyone to help her, but the local community in Wifeyerto seems more helpful in words than in acts. Only one of her son's teachers started to organize to collect some money, others are just saying that they are so sorry for her situation. Both Hoinaka and her children would like to stay at this flat. They said that it is sure that this building is not going to be flooded, and has stable grounds. Hanyak also suffers from health problems. Her hands are swollen, her nose starts to bleed randomly. She completely lost her power of will to start over. The mayor of Uife Erto, Shandor Nath, says that due to financial difficulties, the city council is not able to handle this disaster alone, the government's assistance is needed, and the people in the town started to understand that pumping is not always the solution. First, the people didn't understand that if you pump out the water from the cellars, the water's level will increase by 10 centimeters. However, we managed to convince the people not to pump where it was not definitely necessary. The mayor says that there are 11 people who have been relocated into different homes, but they can't tell that this is the end. According to Mr. Nagy, there were several causes of the inland water situation. For example, there was much more precipitation last year than the average, 
and those watery areas which were used as so-called duck ponds were built in. The city council, up to this day, spent 15 million foreigns on the protection and disaster recovery, and they hope to get back this money from state funds, unless they need to draw away resources from vital functions, because Ufeyerto is in a really bad financial shape. Help has been coming from all around Hungary and even abroad. A village in Transylvania, for example, donated 200 meters of fire hose. Mr. Knight adds that unfortunately the poorer part of the city was hit by this disaster where the houses are in worse shape. According to the mayor, except from one house, all properties can be saved after renovation. However, temporary reservoirs are needed to solve this problem and it seems the government is providing a rapid response and construction can be started within weeks with state funding. Almost 500 people were vaccinated in order to prevent the appearance of hepatitis, and the authorities are constantly monitoring the hygienic situation. The mayor of Uifeyrto says that real tests will come at spring, and he hopes that no more relocations will be taking place.